the owner of the Finders Keepers House, Neil Buchanan. Once again to Finders Keepers, this is of course the house where you can do all those things that you can't actually do at home. Because it's our house. Whose house? <laughs> yes, in this house you can go bonkers in the bathroom, crazy in the kitchen, loony in the living room, and this is also the place that's got its own voice. Jeremy the Voice. How are you today, Jeremy? I'm great, Neil. I've just been reading Sleeping Beauty this week. You know, the story where the princess goes to sleep for a hundred years, then the prince comes along and kisses her and she wakes up and says, You know what I mean, Harry? No, nah, you twit. That's Frank Bruno that says that. No, it's not. It's Sleeping Beauty. Oh, don't worry about Jeremy. He's gone a little bit mad. And so have our teams. Let's meet them. Bring on the Yellow Terrors! <laughs> Who this week are from High Wycombe. <laughs> there they are. They're very yellow and they're very terrible. Who are you? I'm Claire and I've got a joke to tell you. Go on, then. What do you call a hedgehog in a pile of leaves? I don't know. Russell. Boom, boom! Who are you? My name's Colin and I've got a joke to tell you. Go on, then. What? What's... What goes black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, splat? I don't know. A penguin rolling down a hill. Oh! <laughs> Let's meet the green minis, see if they're any better. Bring them on! <laughs> they are from Newcastle this week. <laughs> Hello, you green meanie. Who are you? I'm Karen, and I'm very accident prone, so you better watch out. Uh oh, and who are you? I mean, and my nickname's Shortbread, so I better use me loaf in this game. You better have. They're the teams, this is the house. Let's go and play it. It's called Finders Keepers. Come on. <laughs> Into our first game of Find and Keep. Now, you remember the rules by now. There's some answers hidden on our garage doors. Our teams are looking for the correct answers. Every time they get the correct answer, they get 25 points and a room. We're going to start off by playing for the fantasy room, which this week is Sleeping Beauty's room. And watch out for Jeremy's Joker in there. Yellow's won the toss, so Claire, you can go first. This is your question. Which animals can balance beach balls on the end of their noses? Pick a number. Four. Which animals can balance beach balls? Frogs? No, they can't. You found the answer. Keep it in your head. You may need it later on. Greens. Karen, this is for you. Which animals do we get wool from? Pick a number. Seven. Which animals do we get wool from? <coughs> Tigers? <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> you yellows. This is for you, Colin. Which animals turn into a prince if you kiss them? Think about it and pick a number. Four. Which animals turn into a prince? <coughs> yes! <laughs> it is, of course, frogs. You get 25 points. You will be raiding the fantasy room, complete with Jeremy's Joker. Can't wait to see that. Ian, this is your question. Which animals can imitate twigs? Pick a number for the study. Eat. Eat. Which animals can imitate twigs? <coughs> no, they can't. You found it. Keep it in your head. You may need it later. Yellows, open question now. Either of you can answer. This is for the study and 25 points. Which animals can balance beach balls on the end of their noses? Pick a number. Three. Which animals can balance beach balls? <laughs> Stick insects? No, they can't. You found it. Keep it in your head. You may need it later. You greens. Which animals do we get wool from? Pick a number for the study. Eight. Which animals do we get wool from? <laughs> yes! <laughs> you remembered it. Well done. You get 25 points and you will be raiding the study. On we go to the bathroom and 25 points. Yellows. Think about this one. Which animals can imitate twigs? Pick a number. Three. Which animals could we call Twiggy? Yes, it is! Yes! <laughs> I have to think about that one then. It is, of course, stick insects. You get the bathroom. You greens. Which animals can balance beach balls on the end of their noses? Pick a number for the storeroom. One. Which animals can balance beach balls? <laughs> no, it's not giraffes. Very high beach balls at that. Yellow, same question. Which animals can balance beach balls for the storeroom? Pick a number. Six. Which animals can do it? <laughs> Parrots! <laughs> And they could speak to you while they were doing it. No, it's for the storeroom. Green, same question. Which animals can balance beach balls? Two. Two. Which animals can balance beach balls? <coughs> Wasps! No, they'd sting you if they did. Yellow, same question. Come on. Which animals can balance beach balls on the end of their noses? Pick a number. Seven. Seven. Which animals can do that? <coughs> Tigers! No, come on. Greens, your question. Which animals can balance beach balls? Pick a number. Five. Which animals can balance beach balls? <coughs> yes, they can! <coughs> Brilliant. You get the storeroom and you get yourself 25 points. So, at the end of the first game of Find and Keep, the scores are the yellows, two rooms have 50 points, and the greens have also got two rooms have 50 points. So, 
Grab your helmets, grab your helmets. Greens, you go off. Greens, go get ready. Yellows, yellows, you come over here. That's it, you come on. Now you know by now. What time is it? Room raiding time. Room raiding time it is. You nearly forgot then, didn't yeah. you? You won't forget when you started. Come on, let's go and raid some rooms. Let's go. Now then, you put your helmet on, that's it. Here we are in the beautiful Sleeping Beauty's room, the enchanted castle here. And of course, we've got Jeremy's Joker. What's the Joker today, Jeremy? It's in the bed. What do you mean, it's in the bed? It's in the bed, the Joker's in the bed. But that's Sleeping Beauty, isn't it? Let's have a look in the bed. What we've got? We've got Ted in the bed and... You're right. Ah! <laughs> it's Frank Bruno! <laughs> And Jeremy's that's it, come in here, team. And Jeremy said it was sleeping. He couldn't yeah. call you sleeping beauty, yeah, I was could sleeping you? Very good to disturb me. I bet you were. Well, I'm not going to disturb you again. I'm not going to argue with him. Now, come on, Jeremy. What's this all about? What's the Joker today? Then? Well, they've got to quietly raid the room without waking Frank in order to win these brilliant finders keepers kites. Oh, well, that sounds good to me. Yeah. So you're going back to sleep, Frank, Frank and we've not to wake you. All right, Cheers. there's your teddy. Took Cheers. you in there. I've that's got my it. Dummy. I've, I haven't got your dummy. No. What are you talking about? He's got his dummy. I haven't got a dummy big enough for you. <laughs> 1980. Ah, oh, here we go then. Here's your clue. Shh, a very quiet raid today. A rubber bag that keeps your feet warm. A rubber bag that keeps your feet warm when you're in bed. Mm. Hot water bottle, he thinks it is. Raid the room very quietly and find out. 30 seconds. On your tippy toes. Keep the audience quiet. Keep the music quiet. Keep everything quiet. I don't wanna I don't wanna wake sleeping Bruno. That's it, look absolutely everywhere. It could be anywhere. It could be, it could be in that cupboard, it could be in any of the cupboards, look in all of the cupboards, it could be anywhere. Did it, did it stop? Stop the clock! Stop the clock, come over here, stop the clock. Brilliant, you get the prize. You got the hot water bottle, you get the 25 points, and I'm gonna put the hot water bottle. Oh, I'm not gonna argue with that. Nighty nighty sleeping beauty. Nice big round of applause for Sleeping Beauty Bruno, I think. <laughs> Let's go and join the greens downstairs. Come on, well done. That's it, you stay here. Oh, I tell you what, I'm not going to argue with him. You won't believe what just happened upstairs. Right, here we go. This contraption sorts your pens and all your other odds and ends. This contraption sorts your pens and all your other odds and ends. Well, it's obviously something to do with a desk, isn't it? Raid the room and find out. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. It could be anywhere, Karen. It could be absolutely anywhere. It could be anywhere. You're very cold over here. You're very cold. How can you get hotter? How can you get hotter? You can get nearer the fire. That's for one thing. You could get... It could be anywhere. You're getting very warm. Yeah, stop the clock. Stop the clock. Well done. Karen got it. Ian got bumped on the head there. <laughs> it was a desk tidy. You got your 25 points. I'm going to join the yellows. You come with me. <laughs> I don't want to wake him. It's me that'll have to face the music or the bunch of fives. Here's your clue. Rub this all over and you won't feel the burn. Think of burn. Rub Such it all lotion. over. Someone's on lotion. Right Find out 30 seconds. <laughs> 30 seconds, and I'm frightened to show. I keep whispering. Look absolutely everywhere. It could be anywhere. The points are all square at the moment. That's a good player. You've been very warm. Colin, you're very warm. No, that's not it. It could be absolutely anywhere. Look high, look low. Completely wrecked the place. But don't wake Frank Bruno, whatever you do. You've got two seconds. Out of time, out of time. Come here, look. You're going to kick yourself. Oh. Suntan lotion we were looking for. 25 points goes to the greens. Let's go and join them downstairs. Come on. <laughs> you didn't wake him up, did you? No. Thank goodness for that. No, I don't blame you. Here's your clue. You just got 25 points for doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> so you can go home now if you want. Nah. You want to raid the room, don't you? Here we are. Here's your clue. If the floor's a mess, make a clean sweep with this. If the floor's a mess... 30 yes. seconds! Make a clean sweep with this! Don't fix the floor! It could be! Play again, it ain't nothing! Stop! Stop the clock! Stop the clock! 
Stop the house falling down. <coughs> Brilliant. Look at that. We were looking for a broom. You get yourself 25 points. Well done. Let's bring on the yellows. Come on, you yellows. Let's check on the scores. In you come. There we are. So you didn't wake him up, did you? No, we've got to tiptoe around the house, you see. Now, look, at the end of the first room raid, the scores are thus. Yellows have got 75 points, but at the moment, the Greens, who didn't wake Sleeping Beauty and got an all, a good old Prezi there, have got 125 points. <laughs> but now, look, look, Ian's celebrating already. Ian's celebrating already, and you and I both know Finders Keepers. So at this point, we've still got four more rooms to play for, and we're going to double the points, so anything could happen, including that if you wake Frank Bruno. Let's go back to the garage doors. Come on, let's go. Yeah! Oh. So, just 50 points in it at the moment, and it was the Yellows, of course, that got Frank Bruno prize, wasn't it? The Jeremy Joker prize for not waking up Frank. I hope, into our second game of Find and Keep, and the rules are going to stay the same, except this time the points are going to be doubled to 50 points per correct answer. So anything can happen with the score. The first room we're playing for this time is the kids' bedroom. Yellows went first last time, so greens, I'm going to let you go first this time. Who says... Oh, it's an impression, here we go. Who says, nice to see you, to see you, nice. Mm. Pick a number. Two. Two. Who says, nice to see you, nice to see you, nice. Yogi Bear! <laughs> you find a keep it in your head, you might need it a little later on. You yellows, this is for the kids' bedroom. Who sings I torn, I tore a pony cat? Five. Pick a number. You think it's number five? Who sings that song I've just said? <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Thank goodness for that. I don't have to do that again. You got the kids' bedroom and you get 50, 50 points for that, so the scores are all square. Greens, oh, I don't believe it. it's another impression. Who shouts? Here we go. <clears throat> Who shouts yabba dabba doo? Pick a number. Six. Who shouts yabba dabba doo? <laughs> Joe Mangle? No, he doesn't. And I'm not going to do him. You yellows, this is for the kitchen. Who says. Now what me, Harry? Pick a number. And it's not Sleeping Beauty. Eight. Eight. Who says now what me, Harry? <laughs> Who's <laughs> Forsyth? No, he doesn't. You found him, keep him in your head. You greens, who says, nice to see you, to see you, nice. Pick a number. Eight. Eight. Who says, nice to see you, to see you, nice? <laughs> it is, of course, the brilliant impression of Bruce Forsyth. That was for the kitchen and 50 points. Well done, you yellows. Who shouts, yabba dabba doo? Pick a number. Two. 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 Who shouts, yabba dabba doo? <laughs> yes! It is Yogi Bear, and you get to raid Mum and Dad's bedroom, perhaps the most out-of-bounds room in the history of the world, and you get yourself 50 points. Well done. One question left, one room left. Scores all square at the moment. This is the living room. Greens, who says, Know what me, Harry? Pick a number. Four. Who says, Know what me, Harry? <laughs> Joan Collins? No, <laughs> oh, she doesn't. You yellows, who says, Know what me, Harry? <laughs> one. Number one? <laughs> no! <laughs> He says, know what one means, Harold. This is for the living room. Greens, who says, know what me, Harry? Pick a number. Three. Number three. Who says, know what I mean? <laughs> it's Boris Yeltsin. No, it's not. You yellows, who says, know what I mean, Harry? Pick a number. Seven. Who says, know what I mean, Harry? <laughs> yes, thank goodness for that. Thank goodness for that. My voice is going, oh, know what I mean, Harry? You get the living room and you get 50 points. So, the scores at the end of the second game of Find and Keep are... The Greens, 175 points and one room, but at the moment, the Yellows have got 225 and three rooms. Yeah! So grab your helmets, grab your helmets, off you go. Get ready in your rooms. Go, 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 off you go there. So my voice has gone completely. I hope um, Sleeping Beauty is still asleep. Let's go and do it. Let's go and um, <clears throat> raid some rooms. Come on! <laughs> She's next door. So here we go, here's your clue. Don't forget, 50 points off for grabs here. You're on the right track if you find this loco. You're on the right track if you find this loco. Any ideas? What do you think it is, Colin? Track, loco? Uh, Read the room and find out! 30 seconds! It could be anything, a loco. What goes on a loco track? A loco! What goes on a loco track? What goes on a... Loco, loco, mo... Loco. I don't mean Kelly Minogue locomotion. I mean a loco track. A train! A train! Colin's got a 
everyone thinks it's a train. Trains everywhere. Look everywhere. Colin, sweep the lap. Come here, let me take that off. That's it. Colin, sweep the lap. He thinks it's a train. You're looking everywhere. You're very cold at the moment. Look everywhere. Out of time. God, out of time. Colin. You eventually knew your, what you were looking for. It was a loco, the loco track. 50 points go to the greens. Let's go and join them downstairs in the kitchen. Let's go, come on. <laughs> You're making a hell out of this, aren't you? You got 50 points for doing absolutely nothing down. Right, here's your clue. Cup had gone cold. This keeps the pot hot. What do you think it is? Tea cosy. Tea cosy. Ready to find out 30 seconds. 30 seconds to get 50 points. It could be anywhere. It could be absolutely anywhere. It could be anywhere. That's it. Look high, look low. You're looking for the tea cosy, Karen. Well, look everywhere. Now, where would I normally keep the tea cosy? You're very cold. Very... But that could be because you're in the fridge. You're very cold. Come on in. Look absolutely anywhere. You've got about five seconds. Look high, look low. You're very warm. You're very, very warm. You're almost out of time. Out of time. Out of time. Look at this. You were so warm. Oh. That's what you were looking for. Look at that. You were looking for a tea cosy. <coughs> 50 points goes to the yellows, and I'm going to join them upstairs in Mum and Dad's bedroom. Let's go. <laughs> Again, 50 points for doing absolutely nothing. So here we go. Here's your clue. Give your coat the brush off with this. Give your coat the brush off. You think it's close brush? Made the room find out. 30 seconds. Very exciting at the moment. Very exciting. You're in the lead at the moment. Uh, come on, look absolutely everywhere. Look high, look low. Stop! Stop the clock. Stop the clock. You have done absolutely brilliant. And you know what that means, don't you? You've got the brush and you've got another 50 points and it's going to be very hard, nay, impossible for the greens. Come on, let's go downstairs and do another room. She clearly got completely lost there. Now, look, here's your clue. Do they watch this Aussie soap next door? Raid the room! Neighbor. Raid the room, yes! You've got 30 seconds! You think it's neighbours? It could be anywhere. It could be absolutely anywhere. You did brilliantly with the clothes, but how brilliantly will you do with this? You think it's something to do with neighbours? Do they watch this Aussie soap? How do you watch it? How do you watch an Aussie soap? How do you watch it? Well, you might have to record it, might you? You've got about five seconds. You're very warm. You're very warm. You've got about two seconds. Out of time! Out of time. Look at that, Claire. You're not going to believe this. Look at this. It is a neighbour's video. That's what you were looking for. 50 points is given away to the Greens. Let's bring them on. Come on, you Greens. In you come. There we go. In you come, you Greens. You've just got yourself 50 points which at the end of the room rage takes your score to 275. But this week's winners with 325 are the Yellows! Yeah! So look, you Yellows. They did good, didn't they? They did good. Look, you Yellows, off you go. Go and get ready for the super search, that's it. Go and get ready for the super search, now you Greens. Well, it was so close, wasn't it? Right till the yeah. end there, and you did so well. Have you enjoyed yourselves today? Yeah. Excellent. Well, we've enjoyed having you, and you know, as well as I do, no one goes away from Finders Keepers empty handed. You get a great pressy. Tell us all about it, Jeremy. Goodies galore. You're taking home this sweatshirt, wallet, frisbee, baseball cap, watch, and bag. In fact, your very own Finders Keepers goodie pack. Yeah! <laughs> and I'll tell you what, being the kind chap I am, I'll let you have that neighbour's video as well. <laughs> That's the booby prize, sort of, isn't it? Now, listen, listen. Have you enjoyed yourself? You have, haven't you? You've got a great prize and you've been a great team. I want to hear a nice round of applause for the Greens. There you go. Why don't you? Why don't you come with me on the super search with the yellows? Let's go. Here we are in the super search, and that. Is he still asleep? Yes. Well, let's not wake him up. Now, here we are in the super search, and you know the rules. You've got three minutes to get round all eight rooms. Hidden in every room is an object. Every, every time you find the object, shout out what it says on it.
because it'll tell you where to go next. I'll be with you every step of the way with the clues. The more objects you get, the better prize. If you get all eight, you get a like star prize. Is that all right? Fair. Great. Oh, great. So on we go. Here's your first clue. These tales of fantasy could be grim. These tales of fantasy could be grim. Story book. Story book. Take the room. You've got three minutes. Hey. Quiet, Ray. Very quiet. Yeah, you've got it. Yeah, you've got it. Get it in. It is ghost fairy stories. Go to mum and dad's bedroom, and now we can go mad. Yeah. Hey. Keeps her things handy in this. Mum keeps her things handy in this. Handy, handy, handy. It could be anywhere. It could be low, it could be high. You're very warm, Claire. You've gone low, you're very cold now. Keep high. You're not in the wardrobe now, not in the wardrobe. Try on top. Mum keeps it. Yeah, you're very warm. Look above you. Yeah, keep it looking. Look inside, look everywhere. What is it? Yeah, it's a handbag. What's it say? Go to kids' bedroom. Let's go to kids' bedroom. comes over all a quiver when he fires this. Robin Hood comes over all a quiver. Yeah, go on, keep going. Look anywhere. It could be anywhere. It could be in the drawers. But where was he like? Where was he likely to keep it? Robin Hood, where's he likely to keep it? In the bag now, you're cold over there. You're cold over there, that's it. Come over here. It could be anywhere. You're looking in the bag, yeah. You nearly touched it then. Look absolutely anywhere. Yeah, you're very warm. I can't believe it. You're warm, Carl. It's a quiver, what's it say on it? We've broken it, it says go to the bathroom. Let's go to the bathroom. Woo. If you want to tell your weight, step on this. If you want scales. to tell... Yes, yeah, scales, where could it be? It could be yes. anywhere. It could be absolutely anywhere. It could be under the cover. You're very warm, go. Go for it again, where were you going to go then? No, not in there. Yeah, go for it. Yes. It could be anywhere, look. Where's it likely to be? It could be in the top, it could be in the very bottom. Go to the kitchen, scales. Let's go down to the kitchen. A wobbly port that tastes jolly good. Wobbly port, jelly. Look everywhere. It could be anywhere. Now try it, please. It's not going to be in the fridge. It could be anywhere. It could be absolutely anywhere. Look at, look everywhere. You're cold over there. Come over here, try it. You get warm. It says go to the study. Mmm, very nice. Go on, go to the study that way. Oh, that's all for me, so for later. Angle this right to shed some light. Angle this right Hello. to shed... Yeah, it's a lamp, go on. Yeah, you're very warm. Look high, look low, look even lower. It could be anywhere. That's it, can keep it. You've got it, it's an angle point lamp. What does it say on it? It says go to the living room. Let's go to the living room. Come on. It says... You need pot luck to find this blower. Pot luck! Oh, it could be a... Yeah, look everywhere, look lower! Look lower! Out of time! Out of time! It was a pot plant that we were looking for. You got six rooms, you did brilliantly. Jeremy, what prize have they got? Try your skills with the latest in computer game technology. Plug it into your TV and you'll be spellbound for hours. Yes, you have won this brilliant computer game! Yeah! Is that good? Yes, 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 I'll give you one tip. It's not a loco computer. It's a good job. Do you enjoy yourselves? Yes, yes. So have we. We hope you have too. We'll see you next time on Finders Keepers. Ta-ra for now. Bye. <laughs>